Hi, I'm Will from Link, and in this video, I'll be taking you through the Open Job Report in Link Reporting. Let's check it out together. This is the Open Job Report. Now, Open Job Report is great for understanding where all your jobs are at and which ones are at risk. By default, the report groups by job info. Now, if I hit Show More, you can see that it runs as at today, and we do give you the option of running your Open Job Report as at a snapshot at other dates and time. So it groups by job info and there's no second level grouping by default, but you do have the option of adding two levels of groupings. Do be aware, however, if you do put two levels of grouping, there may be jobs nested within a grouping that you don't see that are at risk. So it is generally a good idea to stick with the default groupings we've provided. Let's hit run. So this is a list of all of our open jobs. A great way to use this report is by using the sort function. If you have estimated times on your tasks, the remaining time is a great sort to use. If you do enter your budgets, the remaining budget is a great sort to use. Between these two sorts, you're able to really get a deep understanding to which jobs are at risk right now. Let's use remaining budget. At the top of the report, we can see our jobs that are high risk here. These are the ones that we have surpassed their budget. So at the top of this list, we have the job for Higgins Hideaway Limited, general tasks. We have a budget of $11,943, and we've put almost $17,000 to it. To get a deeper understanding of what's going on, we can hit the expand button to get a full breakdown by task. These are all the tasks with the estimated times and how we're tracking with our remaining times. Looks like we've gone well over budget on our zero training and support. Now we don't actually have to quote jobs to get this budget field to populating. In Zero Practice Manager, if you enter a value in that budget field, Link Reporting is gonna take that budget and it's going to first apportion the budget to any disbursements on the job, and the residual budget is gonna be apportioned across all of the estimated times you have. So to get your budget allocations working, all you need to do is enter the budget field and make sure your tasks have estimated times. Once the budget's apportioned, we capture our billable time, which provides us with our remaining budget. It's interesting to see here on this job, we've already taken a large write-off on our zero training and support. If we want to investigate this, we can click into the value. This gives us a timesheet breakdown by the staff member who's done the work. Looks like we've had a lot of different people work on this task. This would be a great opportunity to sit down with the team and understand why this has happened so we can take steps to ensure it doesn't happen again. Let's jump back into the report. You can see as we scroll down here, there's a lot of jobs that have exceeded their budget. It's a great idea to investigate all of these. As there are a lot of jobs, it could be quite overwhelming to go through each one of them. A great idea is to use a filter. So if we go show more, then add filter, we can filter this report by job manager. Now the report is only showing jobs where Greg Good is the job manager on the client. There are fields available for this report that we aren't currently showing. Let's check them out. As you can see, the open job report provides a huge level of detail on every job and every task within that job. So it's important to go through and look at which metrics are important to you and your job managers for understanding which jobs are at risk. As mentioned earlier, the great ones to be looking at are remaining time and remaining budget, but you may also want to be using last timesheet to help you identify which jobs have not had a timesheet in a long time, days till due, which is how long until the due date, or projected write-offs. Projected write-offs is an advanced metric to be using as it does require accurate budgets to be entered and discipline around completing tasks. Because of this, by default it is turned off, but if you do have excellent data in your practice, this is a great metric to be using to really understand which jobs are at risk. But if that's a bit much to ask, remaining time and remaining budget are still excellent metrics to be using to identify which jobs are at risk. The open job report is only as powerful as the actions taken based on the information in it. It's important to make sure that we share this with our job managers. To do this, we can either export it, or even better, schedule this report to our job managers on a recurring basis. To do this, hit schedule, give the report a name, enter the email addresses of the people you want to send the report to, select a start date for the report, the frequency, and the format. It's important to consider the fields you have showing on the report and how the report is sorted when you schedule it as these things determine what the report looks like when it's sent to your team members. So I hope that answers all of your questions. Now if there's anything further you would like help with, in the menu hit help and then chat with support to speak to someone from our support team.